how to add a link to an image in Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys how you can add links to images in Shopify. Now, if we have a multi-column in your Shopify store, then you directly can't necessarily add a link to the image itself. And I'll show you guys a demonstration of how you can enable this option. We're going to be editing a little bit of code, but first let's take a look at the native link integration with Shopify. So if you open up Shopify over here and we're just going to open up our Shopify store and I'm just going to open this up over here. Now, as you guys can see, I have this image slider. And if I go into this image slider, I have the first slide. Now within the first slide, if I want to add any type of links, I have to link it in the form of a button link or a button label. Otherwise, I can't directly make the image clickable. That is my goal because the image is only clickable if there is a button on top. Now, if I was to add another section and I'll show you guys another example. So let's take the example of a multi-column over here. So if I select an image, I'll just use any one of my images from here. Now that I've inserted an image over here, I can provide a link and a link label. So let's say I want to link a cool eyeshadow over here and I want to put in a label. So let's say our label is going to be eyeshadow. Now when I add a label, it just makes the link down below clickable. Whereas if I just add a link like this, it doesn't make the image clickable. Even if I save it, so I'll just save this over here and I added the link for it, okay? Now I'm going to exit and I will preview my Shopify store so you guys can actually see how Shopify works and how we're going to be altering Shopify. If I scroll down, there's no clickable image. So this image is not clickable. So how can we alter this? Well, we're going to do a few simple and easy steps. We're going to be editing our code on Shopify. So for that, you're going to have to log on to your Shopify store. And I'm going to explain this really simply so anyone can follow along. First, you want to click on online store on the left. Once you do that, you're going to see your current theme. Now, as a precautionary, you know, measure, you can click on these three dots and duplicate your store. This will allow you to keep a current version. So your current version will be saved in your theme library. So in case you don't like the changes that you make in your Shopify store or in the code of your Shopify store, you can revert back to the original. This is just a really precautionary step. You don't really have to take it. I don't like to take it, but for people that are beginners that are still afraid of messing things up, you can do that. Now we're going to click on edit code over here. Once we click on edit code, this is what your screen is going to look like. So. Once your screen displays this code section, on the left you will see multiple different folders and they have a bunch of sections. So it takes a lot of time if you try to find a section by looking into folders. So you're just going to go into the search bar on top. In this search bar, you're going to search for multi-column liquid. Now you're going to select the multi-column liquid. It's going to be present under sections. Now, if you want to edit the images that are present within rows, you're going to select the multi row liquid. And for that, you have a different code you have to put in. The links for the codes will be in the description box down below, or you can just even search for multi column and multi row liquids on paste bin. Now you're going to click on sections on the left and then select multi column liquid or just search for multi column dot liquid. Now, once you do that, you will see your entire code. You have to delete all of this. So you don't need any of this code at all. You can just remove the entirety of this code. From there, you're going to go on to this particular code on Pastebin. Now I will leave a link to this. This is the multi-column image link code. And from here, you're going to copy this code. Now, this is another really important step where a lot of people make some 
really minor mistakes that end up costing them, you know, that end up just wasting a lot of their time. So that is when you're selecting the code to copy, you want to make sure that you're copying every line. A lot of times people, when they're copying, they forget to like copy the last bracket or the first bracket. So make sure that you're copying the entire thing. If I scroll to the top over here, you will see that we have copied the first two brackets. A lot of people don't copy those and that is why their code is going to end up useless and they don't understand what they did wrong because they followed the steps. But because you missed out a line of code, the code is not going to work. So you just want to copy this from here. And once you copy this from here, you're going to paste it. Now, once I paste the code into the multi-column liquid, I will click on save over here. Now, once I've clicked on save, I can exit. And once you've exited the code editor, you're going to click on customize. Once you click on customize, you can scroll down. And in my multi-column over here, you guys can see you have the option to add a link. You know, you can add any type of link. But what this does is that you guys can see even when I hover my cursor on top of the image, it is now a clickable image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, go into the image and scroll down over here. And then I'm going to put in a link. Let's say I want to open up the product page for the eyeshadow. Now, once I do that, I'm just going to save all, add another image over here so you guys can actually see how it's going to work. So if I put in this image, I'll select my image like so, then I'll scroll down, select the link option over here, and then I'm going to, you know, you can paste in any type of link. That is totally up to you. I'm going to, again, just use, I'll actually use this Google search. So I'll just, you know, link the multi-column Google search like this. So we can paste that in like so. And once we've done that, we can click on save. And once we've clicked on save, I can click on exit. And now that we have saved our changes, we can open up our store. And in our store, if I click on this, this is opening up the product listing for the eyeshadow. And if I click on the second image, this opens up multi-column liquid Google search. So you can really link anything you want to images using this simple technique. It's really simple and easy and can help you in boosting the overall performance of your website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.